Hey, I'm R.J. Byrne. I'm an agriculture agent with the University of Georgia in Thomas County. And today I got with me Dr. Guy Collins, and we're harvesting one of our county uniform trials. I might have Dr. Collins talk a little bit more about these county uniformity trials for cotton. Guy? Uh, thank you, R.J. As you said, I'm Guy Collins. I'm an extension cotton agronomist uh, here in Georgia, in southwest Georgia. Uh, basically what we're doing, we implemented this trial uh, in 2010. It's a county uh, variety testing program where all the varieties appear in all the trials and they're all replicated at least three times. Um, we essentially designed this experiment uh, because last year we, we moved into 2010 without any adequate dry land data. 2009 was very wet. Uh, we had a lot of county trials in 2009 but there was different varieties in different locations and it was hard to pool data across a bunch of locations. Uh, which made it even more difficult to get adequate dry land data. Uh, so that's what we did this year. We asked uh, the three major seed companies to provide us with their three top performing varieties for dry land conditions for here in Georgia. Uh, we also have four or five uh, irrigated trials, but dry land data is what we needed the most. Uh, so those, that's why we asked for those particular varieties. We have several varieties here that we wanted to compare to 555. Uh, so we know where we're moving, if we're moving in a positive direction away from 555. Uh, so for Delta Pine, we've got uh, Delta Pine 0949, it's a B2RF variety, uh, as many others are. Uh, we also have Delta Pine 1050 and Delta Pine 1048, both from the class of 10. Uh, from Bayer Crop Sciences, we have Stoneville 5458, uh, Stoneville 4288, and Fibermax 1740, uh, all of which look promising as well. And from Phytogen, we have the new 565, it's a relatively later maturing variety uh, that's, that's new from them, as well as Phytogen 375, which is a tried and true variety here in Georgia that we're also testing, uh, and lastly, Phytogen 485. So far, we've only harvested four or five of these trials. We still have 15 to 20 to go. Uh, some of the data in some places looks very promising. Uh, other dry land data, it, it does still look like 555 may be the winner in some of those real dry environments. What's going to be very interesting to see is what yield environment some of these newer varieties start out yielding 555. And so far we haven't been able to determine that just yet, but we, hopefully we will at the end of the year. And all of this data will be compiled at the end of the year and, and presented at our, our county meetings during the winter. So hopefully we'll have some good results by then. Yeah, I got a question for you. Um, from what you've seen so far this year, with uh, with the weather we have, are you seeing these these newer varieties? Does it look like they're doing pretty good so far with the dry weather we had, or has it just been that difficult of a year um, with cotton? That it, it's various. It, it really depends on the location. We've got some really poor cotton uh, and some really great cotton. And this, this field right behind me is, is one of those. That's, uh, fairly exceptional in my opinion. Um, so it's all over the board this year here in Georgia. Um, we have harvested a couple of what I consider to be very dry environments. Um, and in those locations it looks like 555 may still be the winner. Um, but we do have some that follow relatively close, uh, a little bit further down in rank. Um, in the irrigated trials or in some of the wetter environments, and it may be you know the seven to eight hundred pound yield range, uh, we do have some varieties that look to be uh, out yielding 555 once we get to that point. Still too early to tell, um, but it, it does look like we may have some uh, somewhere between the 700 and 1,000 pound yield range that may be uh, beating 555. Good deal. And this is one of our irrigated trials right here, right? That's, yes, it is. Okay. Well, good deal. Well, we're going to get uh, need to move because of this cotton picker showing up behind us. But again, I'm R.J. Byrne. University of Georgia Thomas County Ag Agent, and we'll have all this yield data available on our website as soon as we get it compiled, and also be available at our winter update meetings. No points.